714, the Hawaii Hotel Alliance has a conference today at the Waikiki Beach Marriott. Chip Rogers is CEO of the American Hotel and Lodging Association, the national group, and he's going to be a speaker. You recently uh, released a, a pretty optimistic national forecast for the industry. We did. If you take a look at our entire industry across the country, you could positively say that 2024 is going to look very much like 2019 when you take into consideration occupancy and RevPAR adjusted for inflation. Now, different communities are going to have different results, but overall, the recovery is here. RevPAR is a revenue per available room, and it's basically the metric all hotels use to measure themselves. And in Hawaii, we're hoping for some similar improvement. Yeah, Hawaii looks great. Occupancy numbers are not back to where they were in 2019, but the revenue is there. Um, now, Hawaii has faced some inflation a little bit higher than the rest of the country. You look at labor prices, the prices of goods and services, yeah. much higher than they were in 2019. But overall, the health of the economy, the health of hotels, even here in Hawaii, doing quite well. As you know, it's been very controversial here, the whole business of uh, vacation rentals of homes in neighborhoods. And I was wondering how much of that you're seeing in other markets on the mainland. Well, we see it everywhere. This has really plagued the entire country because you have kind of a new technology over the last 15 years that has changed and brought two million properties across the United States from residential and turned them into commercial properties. And that's really, really adding to the challenge of housing problems that is so acute here in Hawaii. I mean, that, I've been here coming here for years and I keep hearing again and again, housing is a major challenge. And then you have the situation that happened in West Maui. I had the chance to be there yesterday. Wow, that was devastating. And you think about the families that are impacted, many of them who work themselves in hotels taking care of other families right now. It's very sad, but this is a real problem with housing. Uh, you, your report is uh, welcoming, but I was wondering how much of it is based on information you have that other economists don't have, which <laughs> is bookings. Yeah, we certainly look a lot at bookings and determine what's going to happen next and what type of traveler. You know, as we came out of the pandemic, it really became the leisure travel was king. Uh, business travel is coming back in a major way now, and especially those major conferences that we didn't see in 2021, 2022. They're back in full force. And so that mix is kind of closer to where it was in 2019, but leisure is still the key, and especially here in Hawaii. Okay, I appreciate the update, Chip. It's 716, and we'll have more sunrise for you in a moment.